Hello everyone, today I wanted to make a quick tutorial on uh, how to install the anime scripter. Some of the community members have had issues in the past installing it and I've tried to make it as simple as possible. And I believe I've reached that point where it's just as simple as running a setup.bat file and which does everything for you. Now I do want to mention that this video is um, unedited, it's a raw video uh, just to simulate what the average user experience will be like. Also, I do want to mention that this script is still in its early stages, so there are some improvements to be made and this video might not be uh, valid for eternity, so to say. Anyway, assuming you're on the GitHub page, uh, if you do not have the link, it can be found in the description below or you can copy it from here. Either way, it's um, available for you. Once you press on the code, you can download the zip. Once it's downloaded, open it. It's a uh, compressed file, so you will have to decompress it. You can decompress it anywhere you want. The easiest way for me is just drag and dropping. Now open this file. <clears throat> Assuming, uh, well, there are multiple ways of installing it, really. Uh, you can do the set of the bat method, which just does everything for you. It installs Python, FFmpeg, and everything that you will need. If you have Python installed, I'm assuming you have some form of uh, programming experience or at least operating with uh, command line interfaces. There's a way for that too. Or if you want to manually manually install everything, if you do not want to run um, batch files on your system, there's also manual installation tutorial. But uh, in this video, we're just going to do the set of the bat method. If you do not trust what happens here, you can just open set of the bat and you can read what's happening. Uh, if you have a little bit of uh, context clue, you can guess what's going on. Anyway, um, let's click on set of the bat. It will ask for administrator permissions. If it's not done with administrator permissions, it's gonna prompt you for them. So right click it and run it as administrator. Now it's gonna ask for consent for installing Python 3.11 and adding it to system path uh, variables. It's, um, I would say uh, it's not really ethical to install stuff without user permission. So that's really something that I wanted to focus on heavily. Now, if you do Y, it will proceed downloading the Python installer and uh, do everything basically for you. Uh, this is the Python installer. Right now we can just wait. It's going to do everything like install the requirements and whatnot. The total file size, I believe, should end up somewhere in the neighborhood of three gigabytes. But maybe I'm wrong with that one. Um, <clears throat> now it's installing the dependencies. Oh, yeah. Now that, uh, now that I'm here, I want to mention that this uh, currently works only for NVIDIA GPUs and CPU, well, not NVIDIA CPUs, but CPUs in general. So there's not really any AMD support just yet. It's going to be coming in the near future, but until then, NVIDIA users are um, the priority because of the higher performance and really just the higher coverage of the market. It's really recommended to have a 1060 or above. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if it should work with 900 uh, series, but if it does work, do let me know on the Discord server. But yeah, generally, if you want um, for it to work for 99.9% .9 of the time, I believe you will need a 1060 or um, 2000 series, I believe, at least. I'm not exactly sure here. Maybe I'm wrong, but do let me know which GPU you tested it with and uh, how it fared. Uh, do you have a benchmarks uh, panel here or segment that I will uh, soon also update and give results and everything. Now all the requirements have been installed and will install the models that you will need for upscaling and whatnot. Let's in the meantime start After Effects. Uh, continue. Yeah, now it's handling FFmpeg. It's also downloading FFmpeg for you, and uh, this is a high requirement for it. Let's make a new project in the meantime. Let's wait for it to finish. I believe somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 megabytes. 
uh, I mean, everything is in, in the neighborhood of 100 megabytes. In the meantime, I also want to mention that one of the key features of this is not having to do manual frame extraction. It does everything in RAM and VRAM, meaning the speed overall is higher. And also one big issue with frame extraction is the fact that if you do uh, frame extraction, generally speaking, the frame extracted are uh, uncompressed and they're really high in size, meaning they can potentially over time wear down your SSDs or HDDs. Everything that happens in this script is done in RAM, it loads the file to RAM, the video itself, and it processes the file in RAM and GPU VRAM. Now everything should have been installed and the install has closed. Okay, what you'll have to do now is press on file, scripts, install script to Y panel. Inside the folder, you'll do press on SRC and there's the anime scripter.gsx. This is the actual UI. Uh, this should not prompt up for you, uh, but I already had it installed, so I will overwrite it. This is what you should normally get. It's asking for a restart of After Effects. <clears throat> Let's restart After Effects. And make a new project. Awesome. Now press on Window, and the NM script that JSX will pop up. Normally, it should be in a form like this, where you can anytime just dock it. Now, um, let's take a... Oh, and I should not forget about one step. Uh, another step of this should be setting up the output and the main.py file. Output is whatever you please. Let's set test for now. And main.py file is the file found in the anime scripter and in uh, main.py, here's the file. This is the actual logic behind everything. Successfully saved the path. <clears throat> now I do want to mention on the first, very, 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 very first run of the script, it needs to build some caches for it to accelerate as fast as possible. So you may not have the highest performance on the first run. We'll see how to bypass that. Let's try to deduplicate the video now. It opened the terminal and it's now done processing, deduping the video. Let's make this comp a minute higher just so you can see. This was the initial input video and this is the output with less uh, frames basically. Yeah. On the left is the deduplicated one and on the right there is the duplicated one. Anyway, uh, let's try to now upscale it. Um, the video is 1280 by 1080, I believe it was. Uh, 1280 by 720, sorry. Let's upscale it by two times using the Shuffle Coogan model. It will now open the terminal any second now. So yeah, if it does this on the very, 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 very first run, that means it's building caches. What you will have to do for it to work properly, you will have to close this. It will freeze after effects. It will prompt you with an error, but try upscaling again. And it should work this time around. I believe this is an after effects issue, the fact that it's working so slowly. Yeah. Now it's working properly. After effects is just being an asshole with me. This is probably the after effects 2024 having issues. But this is again on the very first run. It should work properly past that. Let's try again upscaling it. And now hopefully it should work much, much faster. Yeah. Now we just started instantly. So yeah, this is the first run. You generally in the first run it works lower. But we've upscaled uh, a 10 second ish clip in what like 
five six seconds i believe maybe i haven't done testing on this but uh, let's see the difference and this should be the upscale version so yeah i mean that's pretty substantial honestly from the where it was and where it is now there is some color shifting i think that's an ai issue with the how it processes colors but yeah overall a much 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 better quality now of course it's a 1280 by 720 clip if you have a full hd clip it's gonna be even better i mean the output is gonna be even better let's try to now the well not the duplicate sorry uh interpolate the upscaled version if you press an interpolate it will open the terminal and here it is trying to interpolate by two times the video it's working at about what is that like 14 13 average fps boom and you have the interpolated version let's see the interpolated version is now 47 by 950 fps yeah i mean that's about it you have interpolation upscaling really really fast on in on nvidia sorry nvidia gpus and it was all done in what like under five minutes i oh, know 10 minutes well most of the time was spent on installing it and whatnot anyway thank you for watching have a wonderful day and talk to you soon